And here's Kavanagh, plays it inside to Aaron Green, just lets the ball roll off his toe. But here's Watts, nice ball out to that far side to Finn. Burke fancies the shot, and it's a good one too. And McGinty pushes it away from the inrushing Aaron Green. And that was an early strike on goal from Shamrock Rovers. Good stop, and uh, did enough to push it away from Green. Here's Gibson. Back in the can of the penalty area. He's got uh, two good feet there, Gibson as well. Tried to cross that with the right. Came off McCann last. First corner of the game to Sligo. Short ball. Here's Figuera who remains onside. Bulger! Good save, Manus. Figuera! And it's in the back of the net. And this flag has gone up, I'm afraid. Out of sight. And the ball in the back of the net from Sligo Rovers' point of view. But it's not going to be given. And I think because the ball went out to Figuera, having taken the corner, he was actually offside. Brilliant save by Manus, though, in the end, as his good form continues. It's a real battle for places, isn't there? That, that uh, Shamrock Rovers back three. You've got Scales, you've got Hoare, and you've got Lee Grace, and you've got Joey O'Brien to come back, and also Pico Lopez. So, real strength and depth there. Well, out of the five, John, normally you'd only have the two centre half, but the fact they're playing three helps them a little bit. But I think Joey O'Brien and, and Lopez are starters. Here's McCann, works his way to the edge of the penalty area, gets the return ball, McCann! Well, there's all sorts of claims and counterclaims going on out there, referee ignores them all, goal kick. Nine minutes on the clock then. Gibson. Horgan. Reverse ball to pick out Bulger. Oh, then Bulger gives the ball away. That's twice now Bulger's given poor passes in. He should have crossed it. I don't know why he was trying to be too clever with a little nicky pass. Figuera. Uh, shots on target. It's rolled in under Manus' body. Oh, no. Alan Manus, considered to be the best goalkeeper in the league with an absolute howler. It was a miss kick from Walter Figuera in the 37th minute of the second half. Alan Manis was too casual going down to that. He let a squirm under his body, and Sligo Rovers have taken the lead. I was actually criticising Figuera taking the, the shot on again. And he scuffed it all the way along the ground. Oh, brilliant save from McGinty from Mandrew at the other end. Thumping shot, but it was just too central, and a good push over by the deflection. Sligo keeper. Took a little deflection as well. Great strike from Mandrew. But Anyway, it could be a cruel game, John. Last week he was the hero, obviously saving all the chances from Dundalk. And it's the thing with a goalkeeper, you make a mistake, you pay dearly. I do feel for him because he's a brilliant keeper. Here's Gannon. Chance to cross one. Oh, it's a heavy challenge on Gannon. And back heel by Gaffney. And here's Green. And he can't force the ball home. And they take it out for a corner. And there's all sorts of claims going on out there. And in fact, it's a goal kick. But with chances for the substitute Gaffney and for Green as well. And it comes to naught. And oh, Sligo survive. What a chance. Unbelievable tackle by Jordan Gibson. It'll probably go unnoticed. But Green was ready to just toe poke it into the net, John. What a tackle by Jordan Gibson. What an emergency now from Shamrock Rovers. Here's Gannon, the substitute. He's got plenty to aim at in the box. Here's Gaffney. Gaffney with a chance here. Gaffney! And they couldn't hold on. And that may have come off a defender. But Rory Gaffney will claim it. And Sligo Rovers, having taken a fortuitous lead, couldn't hang on. And Rory Gaffney will claim that goal, although I think it may have come in off a Sligo Rovers player. And that has made it 1-1. You can hear the... Musings of the players out there. There goes the full-time whistle. 